In this video, we'll see the properties of a recursive language. Uh, like uh, there are three main closure properties. Like uh, there are some other properties too. Here I am just focusing on union, intersection, and complement of a recursive language is a kind of recursive language. So we call a recursive language is closed under union, intersection, and complement. Now whenever it is a recursive language, we can construct a Turing machine for it. And when you give an input, if the input belongs to the language. then the machine accepts if the input doesn't belongs to the language the machine properly rejects when the acceptance and rejection state are properly defined we call the language as a recursive language so the turing machine will always halt and accept it or reject it now when you have a two recursive language then if both the language uh, two recursive language then the union of the recursive language is also a recursive language for example consider a language l1 and l2 If L1 is a language that is uh, a palindrome of a string, and consider L2 to be the language that accepts all input starts with A. So whenever the input is accepted by this language L1 or L2, then the input will be should be accepted by this. Like when you uh, like you call L1 union L2 to be the language that is accepted by either L1 or L2. So it contains all set of strings that starts with A. and when it starts with b it should be of a palindrome string so it contains the combination of it all languages that is accepted by l1 and l2 so now our definition is like our our aim is to prove that this l1 and union l2 is also a recursive language so now uh, for this we can construct a turing machine for l1 we can construct a turing machine m1 whenever we give a input w if the input belongs to the language W belongs to the language the Turing machine accepts. If the input doesn't belongs to the language, the machine rejects. The reason is it is a recursive language. So acceptance and uh, acceptance and rejections are properly defined. So this is a machine for L1. And our purpose is like if the input belongs to either L1 or L2, the input to be uh, accepted. So now, if the input is rejected by this machine L1, we are going to check whether it is accepted by this. L2 or not. So for L2, we are going to construct a machine M2. If the input belongs to the language, this is L1 and this is L2. If the input belongs to the language L2, the machine accepts. Or if the input doesn't belongs to the language L2, then the machine rejects it. So here, the input is rejected if it is rejected by both this machine L1 and L2. So overall, we can construct a machine. that will accepts if the input is accepted by this either m1 or m2 we are going to accept it if the input is rejected by both the machines then we are going to reject it so overall what happen if the input is either accepted by l1 or l2 the machine will accept or if the input is rejected by both the category the input will be rejected so this is your l1 union l2 so surely we can construct a machine we can give the input as w surely we can construct a machine for this l1 union l2 that accepts all the input that either contained in l1 or l2 and rejects it when the input is not there in l1 and l2 so this is your l1 union l2 and the acceptance and rejections are properly defined so we say that the union of two recursively uh, recursive language is also recursive since the acceptance and rejections is properly defined over here now the next property is intersection of two recursive languages also recursive like intersection is the way like uh, when you consider a language l1 and l2 if the input is there in l1 and l2 then that set alone will be accepted like uh, you remember that when diagram we use over here if this is a language for l1 and this is a language for l2 whichever is the common thing for l1 and l2 that alone is accepted by this that alone is this l1 intersection l2 for example when you consider this as a input starts with a and this is a palindrome string and with, uh, and this l1 intersection l2 is all the palindrome string that starts with input a alone is considered okay so now uh, again like we are going to prove that two recursively uh, lang uh, intersection of two recursive language is also recursive so first when you consider this l1 we are going to check whether the input is accepted by l1 and if the input is accepted by l1 then we have to check whether it is accepted by this l2 also so we are going to construct a machine m1 if the input belongs to l1 this machine accepts 
and again if the machine accepts this machine m1 accepts the input we are going to send that to machine 2 for l2 and if that machine ex also accepts the input then the input is accepted input is accepted only if both the machines accept the input if any one rejects then we are going to reject the input so as a whole when you consider the acceptance and the rejection is properly defined over here so we call this uh, intersection of two recursive language is also a recursive language the next property is complement of a recursive language is also recursive language for example when you consider a language l1 and the complement is l1 bar if the input starts with a is a language l1 and whatever the input that doesn't start with a will be there in l1 bar now again here uh, like it is a l1 is a recursive language so we can construct a machine m1 if the input belongs to the language machine accepts or if the input will doesn't belongs to the language it will be rejected and the complement is the reverse of it if this l1 input is accepted by this machine l1 that will be rejected and if it is rejected by the machine that will be accepted so overall we can design a machine m dash during machine m dash that accepts the input if it is rejected by the machine m1 that rejects the input when the input is rejected accepted by the machine so here also acceptance and rejections are properly defined so we can say that l uh, the, the complement of a recursive language is also recursive Thank you.